What is up YouTube, Johnny B here again today and we are with another project as you can see behind me. I cannot seem to get away from Lexus and uh, this is another Lexus. If you guys can guess what's here, you guys probably already know it from the title but you know it's cool to kind of try to figure out what a car is when you see it with no front end on. But if you take a little peek to this side, you can kind of get a glimpse of the headlight. So this side is where the accident was. And if you take a quick look, you can see that the door and this side pillar here were undamaged. Side skirt is obviously missing, so we need to put that on. But then we can take a look at all of the frame structure under this. And uh, it's perfectly fine. The inner fender liner is still there. Got the windshield washer and then you got this front crash beam, which is perfectly untouched and unbent. The AC still works, the radiator still works. The car does not overheat, it turns on, drives perfectly straight. But as you can see, it looks like they must have hit a vehicle that was tall enough to scrape the top of the hood and damage it like that. So let me give you guys a little bit of a peek as to the interior. No airbags were deployed. Those are the two main airbags, the steering wheel and the one that's on the dash if there's a passenger. A lot of newer cars have airbags in the seats right here so those tend to rip. And you have the ones on top on the roof. Those are all intact. And sometimes you even have some knee ones, but none of them were deployed. This is the navigation rear backup camera model with heated and cooled seats. It is an automatic. They didn't make the 350s in manual. They only did that with the 250s. And you have the three seat adjusters there. It's got a shade in the back. You can wash the headlights. The steering wheel is telescopic. It's got all kinds of goodies. And the tires are all Michelin Pilot Super Sports. They're actually in pretty good condition. It is the gray color. I don't know exactly what it's called quite yet. I'm gonna have to figure that when we get the paint code. So now that I am taking everything apart, I went ahead and loosened up the headlight. So we can go ahead and pull this out. It seems to be fairly simple, except it's probably still connected. But there's just a couple 10 millimeter bolts here and there. Oh, got a big old connection over here on the side. So I went ahead and removed the headlight and the fender. So there's the fender out, placed it over there next to the new fender for the opposite side. And I also went ahead and polished the headlight that was on this side and it actually came out pretty good. Probably going to be posting that up for sale since I'm not going to need it anymore and it's a full, it comes complete. All, all you have to do is plug it in to this connection right there and you have a fully working headlight with all the nice systems. I think it's like even auto leveling so that's pretty cool. So now on to removing the hood pretty much removing all of the bad stuff from it and making sure that the radiator support is good. So here is the front of the IS300 with everything taken off. And one thing I did do was go ahead and install this middle core support area because that actually got bent in the accident. Luckily I found one used off of another car and it looks to match up perfectly well. They even have like the same little overspray so it must have been one from the same color. So now that that's done, we can go ahead and start getting the parts ready for paint. It's been a while, but we got the parts in. One of the first things that I went ahead and ordered was a hood. You can see this is an OEM hood. Started masking off the, the OEM stickers. Let's say Lexus and whatnot. I'm gonna go ahead and cut, cut around those so that they uh, remain intact even after we add the base coat to this. So it's just like little things here and there. It looks like this, this one had a little modification that was authorized by Toyota. In case anybody's wondering, yes, this is an OEM Toyota hood, even though it's for Lexus, because they are the parent company. 
So now that we have this, I'm gonna finish covering all of the stickers up and cutting them out. So that way when we paint underneath it, it's gonna look good. I'm gonna be removing this rubber piece and various other things that we don't want to get painted. So here we have the hood for the IS300. Did a bunch of body work on it, make sure that everything was straight on this side. And then I went ahead and brought all the other parts that I had ordered, picked up. So now we have every single part that we need. Got the bumper here with the lip that's supposed to be a bit nicer, uh, the OEM one. And then we got this little wing ducktail thing that everybody always puts on them, which actually looks really nice. So I'm excited to put that on there. Got the little tow hook cover for it. The fender that's obviously missing because the other fender was good. And then the side skirt that's also missing. Just They just never decided to put them back on. The side skirt should have been good, but I had to source another one. Luckily, I got really good deals on everything. So now, as you can see, I'm in the middle of painting them. Um, painting them that gray color that the car is. Gotta go on to the hood, paint the underside of the hood as well. Just kind of get a decent amount of coats on here. Probably get like three, four coats. Wanna make sure that everything is covered perfectly and that there are no missing spots. So hopefully by the end of today, these should be painted and then we can let them dry overnight and hopefully put them on the car. And it'll be a quick little like three day build, which is gonna be pretty awesome to be able to drive this car already. So here we are next day. The parts are all dry, looking good. I'm excited to put this on. Got the hood over here. So now I'm gonna move these all out of the way so we can bring the car in here and then start putting everything on and start seeing how the car starts to come together because this is literally the third day that I've been working on the car. Obviously ordering parts and getting everything, waiting for everything to come in takes a bit longer, but I already had the car. I started ordering the parts and as soon as all the parts got here is when I actually started working on them. Hopefully I'm not missing too much little things here and there. Uh, a lot of the bolts were missing just because the car was already taken apart before it got to me. But luckily I have a bunch of extra bolts. I have a whole bucket that's just full of random bolts that I'm gonna be able to use to put this car together. And uh, I'm excited to see it done. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the tent get everything out of the way, and then get the car in here so we can go ahead and start installing all these shiny new parts. I'm excited, let's get to it. So I went ahead and started putting the car together. Nothing's really bolted, it's just laying on there except for the hood. As you can see, this is how it turned out. We have like the Lexus logos and everything still intact, which is, nice because that makes it look like the hood is OEM. I have to touch up some spots because I painted the hood while I was on the little thing to paint. I forgot what it's called. But here's the hood. It's nice and shiny. The fender is on this side. wasn't really damaged. It was just a little bent there but I went ahead and bent it back and it's going to need a little touch up right in the little dot right there. But other than that, it was in perfect condition. And then I went ahead and put on the other fender so you can see there it's lining up pretty good and uh, I'm just missing a lot of bolts because this car came taken apart and it didn't have any bolts with it so I'm gonna have to be looking around for a lot of the bolts but so far it's coming out pretty good I have the side screw right here so that's probably one of the next things I'm gonna go ahead and put on because that was missing you can see there it looks really weird with the missing side skirt so i'm glad i was able to find one and uh, yeah so i want to go ahead and uh, make sure that those are on there properly so i can bring the headlights install the headlights make sure that everything is lining up good but it looks good so far so as soon as i got the fender lined up went ahead and installed the side skirt that skirt's looking good. Now it doesn't look all funny because it doesn't have a side skirt. The body lines are actually coming out really good. The paint is actually matching up really good. Can't really tell over there because of how dirty the door is, but match is really, really good. 
very happy with that. So now that we got the fenders bolted down, see on this side, put the side screwed on this side as well. Now I can go ahead and install the headlights and hopefully we can make them work and line up well as well. So just in case you guys are wondering, it has an H11 bulb in here. You gotta take off this little door that kind of leads you to where the bulb would be. It has an H11 bulb. Obviously it's gonna be just like a regular halogen, but we want the lights to be nice and bright and to show, you know, similar color to the HID. So this is the kit I got. Move this out of the way. Night eye. These are supposed to be shorter so that they actually fit in here. So all we have to do is put them in there and connect them with this little connector to the connector that's already in the headlight and we will be having some nice bright lights. These LED lights actually barely fit but I was able to connect it and make it work. So now all we have to do is go ahead and put the little door back on and then this piece of metal just kind of like clamps right over it. And we are done installing the LED. Now onto the other one and then we can go ahead and install them on the car. Just got this side installed and can I add a wow these headlights are beautiful. Look at that looking so good I am very excited to see this car done so got both of the headlights installed and they are on looking really good everything's lining up nice and I am excited you can see the little bottom LEDs lighting up Looks sick look at that I got the hood closed, testing out all the lights. Seems like everything is working just fine. Fog lights are working as well. The front crash sensors or the front sonar sensors are uh, not being triggered now that they're connected. And everything seems to be working perfectly and it's looking really good now. One of the next things I need to do is go ahead and switch out this windshield which is cracked. And uh, pretty much it. But the car is looking almost done. So a little more things that I need to button up. But now I can actually test drive it and see how it feels. Oh.